Hey guys, let's talk about the disaster that is Hello Kitty. And it's a disaster no matter how you look at it. I know sometimes people say that, um, hey, well, you made your money, you bought these for 70, you sold them for 140. Uh, assuming that you did sell them for 140, you are never going to find a customer again. That customer is going to be very upset. Uh, the problem is really, really, really obvious, right? The problem is the $150 set is such a better deal for $10 extra uh, and free shipping. You would get a entirely different, you could get one more extra box and you get free more promo cards, some sleeves and dice. Probably the free promo cards, sleeves and dice are itself are worth that 10 extra dollars and you're getting an extra booster box, right? So I do think that in time, um, a lot of people are making a big deal out of the three hundred dollar product becoming one hundred and fifty overnight, and Argos has either sold or he's sitting on a lot of it. So I did watch that video where he says that most of these boxes are sold already. Um, I really feel bad for those people because unlike eBay, eBay if you bought for three hundred dollars, they would give you a discount. They would say, "Okay, well, we're going to refund you the one hundred and fifty dollars." Uh, that is honorable to do, but as a small vendor, I don't think the Argos or the Alpha Investments or the people selling the $5,000 Meta Zoo Hello Kitty Sparkle boxes is really going in the uh, ability to slash their prices by half like the Meta Zoo. So either you have very angry customers and you have to deal with customer service for a long time, or you're just stuck with product that on, you bought for 70 and now there's a better product out there, which I would say the booster box is probably around 70. So you're not going to make any money from it after you're done shipping it. So I think in terms of hosing your own customers, um, if you sold them a $70 product for 140 that they can easily, easily right now go online and buy from TCG Player. Uh, they're going to be hosed. I mean, what you did was you hosed your own customers. I, I don't know how else to explain it, except that your customers probably will be angry at you. Um, imagine if I sold a product for $140. Right? That's I don't know what Argo sold his product for. I'm assuming it's $140 because that's MSRP, and anyone who is on the, the MetaZoo umbrella is supposed to sell for MSRP, right? So I, can, I can't even imagine what that looks like and what that feels like to have so many angry customers because you got hosed, right? I mean, there's no other way to say it is you got sold a product that was that you paid that the person paid $70 for that um, that you, um, you you paid $70 for. And truly, you got absolutely demolished. And I don't really understand how anyone can justify this. Because you can't, you can't, you cannot justify this, right? You, you either didn't sell the product and then you took the major out, or if you're smart, like I think Argos is smart, he said the product, um, the product is already pre-sold, but everyone who bought the product, didn't they just get hosed, right? So they paid $140 probably plus shipping. They might have paid $150 plus, and they could have easily got a two boxes and promos and all that extra stuff for the same price or even less, depending on how much shipping is. That would be a disaster. You know, that would put you out of business. Your customer base is angry as hell at this point in time. And I noticed that Argos hasn't released a video since this thing came out. I mean, imagine you're the customer. You got sold a item. And, and the problem is, the problem is very simple, is eBay actually gave them a refund. So people who paid $300 a bo for the two box collector's edition, they got a refund. They got a refund of $150. Literally, they could go out and buy another set. But if you bought from Argos or a local game store or Alpha Investment, you ain't going to get no refund. I can guarantee you that. 
you're not going to get a half off refund, right? And you look at all these boxes and each of these boxes went somewhere to, you know, a, a patron or whatever it is. And those people got hosed. Either those boxes are sitting in his garage and he got hosed or these boxes have went somewhere and, and they got hosed. And I get it, man. If you can buy this for seventy and sell for one forty, why you? I understand why you love alpha. Why you love, uh, uh, and you you can do five thousand. Let's do the math on that, right? Let's do the math on that. I think it's crazy. Um, I think it's crazy. I'm actually going to do the math right now. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Olympic fans. What the hell is this? Okay. So let's do 5,000. 5,000 boxes times $70 a box of profit means he made $350,000. At the expense of his poor, poor patrons who have lost, essentially, I mean, again, if you break down the $150 product, it is $10 of extra stuff, free promo, sleeves, and a dice, and, and then the box, right, the metallic box, hey, you give that, you know, you give that the value, you give that $10, right, okay, all day, $140 for two boxes, putting the box at $70 a box, these people paid $140 per box. But the box is not worth $140. It's worth $70. And eBay had the decency to refund them. Now, will these, will these MetaZoo content creators refund? That is the true question. And I'm going to go ahead and probably guess not. Um, I guess they're okay selling for double. Double. We're not talking about a tiny, tiny. We're talking about double, my dudes, right? Double. Um, that's crazy. Um, it's crazy. You you don't really uh, have any. You don't really have anything left to say uh, except that it's a bad deal for your customers, and they're probably really angry right now. <laughs>